Hey guys, uh, Bill here and welcome back to the layout. Um, today we're going to do um, Big Boy Blowdown Part 4. Okay, and I'm just going to show you what I do to try and get the thing to work right. Um, first of all, I take my needle point dispenser right there and I take, uh, I'm using Proto Smoke for this and I put 30 drops of fluid into my needle point dispenser. It's not all going to go in there, so anyhow, then I take my needle point dispenser and I slowly, over a few minutes, um, fill the reservoir. It doesn't fill it, obviously. These reservoirs probably hold more like, uh, um, you know, a hundred drops. Of course, uh, I'm not suggesting that you put 100 drops in there. So what you do is, I'll, I'll take like a, let's see, you don't want to squeeze too hard, but you just want to put a little bit in at a time. Until you get it all in there. If you squeeze real hard, you're going to wind up clogging up the tubing. Uh, with fluid. So just a little bit at a time. Like I said, a lot of times it'll take me a few minutes to do it. So, and I'll probably cut part of the tape here. I don't want to bore you guys too much, but just slowly but surely get it in there. That's about it. There's still a little bit left in the uh, needlepoint dispenser here, but. Then we're going to go ahead and turn the smoke unit on. Let's see here, blow down. And we're going to turn the smoke unit on. And we're going to leave the top off here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn that volume a little bit. And as you can see in the beginning, there's nothing. It's going to take a few minutes to warm this thing up. We're getting a little bit coming out here. And one of the tickets for me is to leave the top off. Once you get a good amount of smoke coming out here, then it's time to put the top on. See, we're not near there yet. I don't even know if you guys can even see the smoke. Let me see if putting this light on helps. It's coming out a little bit better. But we're not there yet. Once you get a good amount of smoke coming out this way, then you can put the top on. This can take 10 minutes until you get the mixture just right. piece came off the, uh, the cover there. Not a big deal. See, and this is going to take a while. Like I said, it ain't there yet. It's got to be thicker than that. Once you get the mixture right, where you burn enough of that fluid off, it 
we should be good to go. And you can try it. It's just getting starting to get thicker. See, it's barely coming out. It's very anemic at this point. See, it's, it's a decent amount of work, guys. You can see it's getting thicker. See, now it's coming out here and it's coming out down there. And eventually, see, that doesn't even really help a whole lot. You gotta get enough air through there to heat it up. I don't, you know, I don't understand it exactly. I'm just telling you what works for me. See, it's, comes out better now than when I stop the airflow here. But again, that's just the way it works. Eventually, we'll get it. And of course, part of the problem with these things is that the smoke, smoke is hot and it wants to go up. So uh, when you stop it and you're forcing the smoke down and out, it just, it's much more difficult. You see, it's working pretty good now. We're still not there. And I may have some, some blockage in there. So that's the other, other part of this. It's like the other side smoking better than this side. But it's funny how when I take my finger off, it actually shoots out more here on both sides. in there. Anyways guys, that's basically how it's done. It just, you gotta work with it. Look at it, it increases when I take my finger off of there. But eventually you'll get it where it works great. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. The other side seems to be doing better. Of course, I don't have any light over there. This side might be a little bit fogged up. But the other side over here is definitely, I know you can't see it because of the shadows, but definitely seems to be doing better than this side that you're getting a better view at. Anyways, guys, that's how I do it. I just warm it up real good. And once I get it where I want it, just take the top here. That's it. And we're there. See, it's not doing too bad. So that's what I have to do to get it really going. See that? It's, it's doing good now. We got the right amount. And as you can see, when I started out, it was totally anemic. Uh, that's my good buddy Michael calls his. It's anemic at best, but Mike, I think uh, if you do it this way, hopefully your battery's not too burnt. But uh, that's what I do to get it going. You can see it works great once you warm it up. Got to have enough fluid in there too. Like I said, I go 30 drops, but put it in slowly. And if it puddles up where you at the port, don't blow on it. Just work it until the, the puddling goes away.
All right, guys, well, hopefully that helps. Sorry about the shadow. I know this light, I bought this new light. Let's see here. It's actually a work light. I'm kind of using it to uh, brighten things up around here. Anyways, there you go. I didn't time it out, but you know, it probably took five to 10 minutes to get it where it's really smoking. All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.